But now let's go over to a new set. I don't know if I've ever seen Ron Mains like this in the kitchen. Ron and Ann, over to you. Well, it's a very big privilege to have with yes. us today and for the next 10 days, including today, Dawn Hall. And let's welcome her to 100 Huntley welcome Street. Dawn. It's great to have her here. Now, we know what it really is a big privilege is the truth is having Ron in the kitchen. <laughs> in the right? kitchen. And that's <laughs> really the truth. It's a big accomplishment to get him to put this apron on. And honey, you look so well, cute in that thank apron. You. Don't faint. Don't yeah. faint. Cute isn't the adjective that I would <laughs> hope to receive. But so, I don't know what I'm doing here in the kitchen with you two, but. I'm, You're I'll the try comic to, relief. I'm I know. Try to no, learn. No, no, no. I'll try to learn a little bit as we go along. So what, what was this uh, first recipe entitled? This is called mushroom and onion frittata. Frittata. Now, now frittata is a fancy word for an easy omelet is what it is. Okay. And I, okay. If you're having company or brunch, this is a great thing. I've already started. I put in um, the onions, which was one cup of chopped onions. Now, I like to use onions that are frozen, let the manufacturers do the work. Oh. I don't want to smell like an onion, <laughs> I don't want my mascara running, and this is a great recipe if, say, you haven't gotten started on dinner yet, and your husband or your wife is home and want to run. Yes. Run. <laughs> Like this, this is a great, excuse me, this is a <laughs> great right recipe uh -oh, for what are you we doing to over make here? You know what? I'm too I know, close. I love this. <laughs> this is the first day in this kitchen. <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> okay, this is for real, Ron. You can do it. I would not put you in this position if I didn't think you could do it, Is this going to make me cry because of the onions? And, and you know what? I even forgot to put non-fat cooking spray. That goes to show you how easy my recipes are. Even if you make a mistake, you don't need to worry because you can just... Improvise. Okay. okay. There you go. So isn't that nice to know? You just do the best you can with what you've got, and all the recipes are like that. Now okay. I just want you to cook your onions a little bit. So just stir them around. Mm-hmm. Okay. And when you do me a favor, will yes. you slice up those mushrooms? Yes. And I'm then I'll get that. the other ingredients. Well, right. while he's cooking, I'll Slaving go ahead. over a hot stove. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't this. think of <laughs> much heard of, of, of uh, many things that. <laughs> We could be more beautiful or more loving than I a spouse this. cooking. I love this, having Ron in the kitchen. Like, this is really, really nice. I think Anne owes me a really good thank you <laughs> I, letter. I think I do. <laughs> this is great, Don. We have two teaspoons of minced garlic, just like the onions where I like to use them frozen. Okay. Look what a great job you're already. doing. Yeah. They're browning. We'll go ahead and stick those and mushrooms in. in. Mm -hmm. Okay, here come the mushrooms. All right. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. Ron, right. you could mince the garlic when it comes out of a jar like this, couldn't you? Mince and you it. never caught that it's already done. Just call me Ron Mince. <laughs> <laughs> it's already done for you. I'm okay. sorry. You it's don't, just put normally, it in the kitchen and the jar. Normally, garlic start. would be in a clove okay. and you would put it in a, in a garlic press. You don't need yep. to do any of that. It's all done, done for, for you. Done for you. Just mm -hmm. like the onions were pre chopped and frozen for you. Right. Mm -hmm. They don't right. have to do all it's, the extra mm -hmm. work because you're busy. Right? right. This was two cups of sliced mushrooms yes. we just put in the pan. And now we have right. a half a teaspoon of a basil. Now, if you like you to use fresh flipping. vegetables and fresh herbs, what I recommend doing when it comes to your herbs, oh my goodness, smell that. It smells wonderful. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I recommend oh, yeah. doing, if you, you like to grow your own basil, then when it says dried, use twice as much. So for this recipe, okay. we're using a half a teaspoon dried. So if we're using fresh, we would use a whole. Okay. You know, I, I do not have a green thumb. I cannot see me growing my own Now let's basil. just cover <laughs> this up just for a little bit. Okay. But well, I'll keep that in mind. Now the mushrooms are going to um, cook down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and mushrooms have a lot of liquid in them. So you don't need to worry about it getting too dry in there, as okay. long as it's, the heat's not too high. All right. In the meantime, we are going to go ahead and measure our Molly McButter, which is the same thing as Butter Buds or Imitation Butter Substitute. Okay, now it's in your recipes, Dawn, I've noticed you do call for Butter Buds, mm -hmm. but you've done some research for us, and mm -hmm. up in Canada here, we do not have Butter Buds. But you have Molly McButter, have Molly McButter which, which is the exact substitute. same All right. product. All right. That would be like, um, instead of calling it skim milk, and you call it fat free. It's the same product, just okay. a different name. All right. So we have one tablespoon of that. This is egg substitute. Mm -hmm. um, in America, we used to call them egg beaters. Mm -hmm. You have a different brand of them. It's the same thing. If people raise their own 
eggs. They have their own chickens. What they can do is make their own egg beaters. All egg beaters are are egg whites with yellow food coloring in, and they eliminate the yolk. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so you can make your own. Um, What's wrong with the yolk? The yolk is where all the cholesterol <laughs> is. I love your cholesterol. Yeah. Okay. That's where, yeah. And it's good to have some yolks, but most people eat more than we need. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. cancer, heart disease, diabetes thrive on a high-fat diet. So if you want to reverse cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, oh look, we can get a facial. Steam. Yeah. <laughs> 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 steam. We at the same again. time. Now, do I put the Molly McButter in right now? No, nope, he's going to stir no? it again, okay. and then you can and put that. it in. Um, you can go ahead and put it in when he, while he's stirring oh, it. Right there now. you go. Okay, mm -hmm. that's All fine. Right. So here goes the Molly mm -hmm. McButter. You guys make a good team. Well, thanks. It's been Does it now? It's been can a you few smell years that? that we've been this team. Smell how good that. Oh, you know what? That gives us the butter flavor that without smells, the fat. That smells like butter. It does. Mm -hmm. It doesn't and, smell like. And a, and a I would a never substitute. use like an imitation butter for like on my baked potato or my toast. I would use real butter. However. Because a little bit of real butter can go a long way, mm -hmm. like on toast. Mm -hmm. Same like with sugar or salt. You put it on the top of your products mm -hmm. and then put on your tongue. That's where your flavor um, taste buds, taste buds are. are. Sure. There you go. Sure. You did excellent. Will you do me a favor? Just lift that up so the viewers can see how great that is. That's exactly what you want. Now, this is so super simple. All you do is just take your cup of egg substitute or egg beaters, whatever you want to call it. Okay. You're just going to pour it in here. I know you've already measured that. You so do that not, one mm -hmm, cup. it's one cup. You do not, you do not stir it. No. No. Put this down. Mm -hmm. Step <laughs> yep. away just from the spatula. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <just> <laughs> okay. Pour okay. it, pour the egg substitute in and cook it for about a minute. Okay. okay? And it'll start getting a little dry. Now mm -hmm. do you want to put the lid on or not? No. Nope. No? Okay. We want the, the moisture to evaporate. Okay. So we're just going to cook it like this. Then we're going to transfer the entire pan to the preheated oven. I turned the oven on ahead of time. Okay. Matter of fact, the very first step in your recipe says to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. That's a hot oven, 450. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because we're not going to bake it for a long time. We're just going to help it to dry out. Okay. This is pretty much by the time it goes into the oven, it's going to be pretty much cooked on the bottom, but we need to set the top of it. So we're going to cook it for in the directions. It says pour the egg uh, mixture over the, the cooked vegetables and cook for one minute. Okay, see how it's evaporating? And what are we going to do? We're going to do two for one, cook and facial at the same time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking for a bargain, this girl is. <laughs> so this is basically, it's like an omelet. Exactly. It's a but fancy name. of cholesterol. And you don't have to worry about flipping it. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it, it's going to be delicious. Right. Then we're going to take it into the oven for four to five minutes. Mm -hmm. And what will happen, it will it'll literally bake and, and get fully cooked. And you're going to have a delicious, delicious meal. So when it's in the oven, you don't cover it? Nope. You just step away from the cover, too. Yeah, you okay. just step away. And we'll sprinkle, the once it comes out of the oven, we'll sprinkle with Parmesan cheese on top of the frittata just to give it a little bit more flavor. But this is something that you could use for breakfast, lunch, brunch, or dinner. Mm. And in all honesty, couldn't you really do this on your own? <laughs> I think on, I be could. Honest. Really? I, it's and not that hard. I, I think uh, <laughs> no, I could. can figure it out. And, really and really this has four servings. Mm -hmm. It's only 75 calories per serving. Wow. Say you wanted to, to eat half of it. You're still only talking 150 mm -hmm. calories. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. See how it's still wet mm -hmm. and watery on top? Mm -hmm. When we get it out of the oven in four to five minutes, it will be great. But you see how there's still moisture in there? Mm -hmm. Can they get that on the screen? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Just so that's what, around. That's, that's, what that's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's what I love about this cookbook is that, as Don said, it's seven ingredients or less, and then you can do everything and be eating in 30 minutes, which is really good for busy people, as it says at the top of the book, <laughs> busy people like us. And so, as Don sets the timer there, we will give you a recap of this recipe, just in case you didn't have your pen and paper handy uh, fast enough. And so, let's look at those ingredients again. Okay. The ingredients for the mushroom and onion frittata are 8 ounces fresh mushrooms sliced, 1 cup of chopped onion, 2 teaspoons minced garlic or bottled garlic, 1 half teaspoon dried crushed basil, 2 tablespoons of butter buds or Molly McButter in Canada, 1 cup egg beaters, 
one tablespoon fat-free grated Parmesan cheese. And right now, I'm ready, I know you are, to try to we taste have, we have been what we've been working on. this delicious dish that Don has prepared. What I've been slaving over the, the hot stove you on. Have, <laughs> and you have, fun. Well, we're going to get to know you a, a lot yeah. more over the next nine days and a lot more of your recipes, too. Mm -hmm. And all of the recipes are available uh, in her book, Down Home Cooking Without the Down Home Fat. And uh, that's our special thank you.